if Republicans over the past few years have made one thing clear, it's that they really care about voter fraud. Sometimes they call it election irregularities or shenanigans, but the issue has become a calling card for a party whose voters by and large falsely think elections in the U.S. are tainted. Which is what makes the currently blossoming election conspiracy so strange. The far right is now running a disinformation campaign against one of the best tools that states have to detect and prevent voter fraud. And experts worry voting policy is already starting to suffer as a result. The tool is a shared database called the Electronic Registration Information Center, or ERIC for short. It allows states to securely share voter registration data across state lines and with a number of other government agencies, like the Social Security Administration and Departments of Motor Vehicles. That data sharing allows participating states to expand ballot access by giving officials information that helps them reach out to eligible voters who have moved into the jurisdiction but have not yet registered to vote. But it also increases election security by notifying those same officials when a registered voter moves away or dies, allowing states to maintain more accurate voter rolls. When you move away from a state, you don't call your old state and say, please take me off the voter lists, said David Becker. So to get really strong data that someone moved to another state, got a driver's license there or maybe registered to vote. That's really powerful information that allows states to keep their data up to date. The decade-old program now includes more than 30 states spanning the political spectrum. But that bipartisan unity is being tested, as some pockets of conservative media have ignited a pressure campaign against Eric. On January 20th. The far-right blog The Gateway Pundit published the first of a number of articles about the program, falsely implying that it is part of a left-wing election conspiracy. Seven days later, Louisiana withdrew its membership, becoming the first state since Eric's founding to do so. Louisiana Secretary of State Kyle Artwan announced the move quietly in a press release citing concerns raised by citizens, government watchdog organizations and media reports. His office declined an interview request from NPR, but a member of Ardoin's staff said the secretary is still in touch with, 